Solar flare causes radio interference for over two hours. Let's discuss. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Coffee Rant with Dano and Frank, the bald Patriot Eagle here. Tonight we are drinking Tim Hortons. If you have to hit pause on this video to get your coffee together or whatever beverage you deem necessary, we have some interesting information here to discuss tonight. Go ahead and do so now as this will be most likely a lengthy discussion. Guys, I'll tell you what, this is some crazy stuff. Uh, solar flares seem to be happening more and more over the last decade or so. And we have NASA that has just released images of what it says is the most powerful solar flare in six years. A fiery flash on the sun's surface 93 million miles away that knocked out some radio communication on Earth for a short time on Thursday. Uh, information we are reading from some of the Guardian. Um, crazy stuff, guys. Absolutely crazy. Uh, and, you know, I've read some things on solar flares over the years. Scientists do believe that a strong enough solar flare could literally knock out the Internet. Now, they always say don't panic, but when you hear things like that, it's like, well, you know, this is kind of why we talk about being prepared on the channel here. Also, I want to qu give a quick shout-out to all of our fans on the channel. We just crossed 40,000 subscribers. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Everybody being part of the adventure. All of you are part on the channel as we try to help keep you in the know on everything and help save you as much money as possible on food, which is not easy to do these days. Um, but we've been throwing in a lot of these different reports lately because these things are important. Because if you're going to prepare in life, you want to make sure you're prepared for everything. And this is something that could cause a left hook, right? No pun intended, um, but you know, these things are pretty crazy. Um, they, could, they could cause a lot of damage. And as we see here, this is the strongest in years, maybe the strongest ever that has disrupted radio communication. And when we start getting into that, we get into some serious stuff. So we're gonna go on and read a little bit from this here, and then we're gonna discuss some of what we think about this and maybe ways that we need to prepare in the future in case this is going to be a regular thing. Uh, they go on to say, the agency captured the brightly colored uh, imagery of the phenomenon uh, known as the coronal mass ejection, or the CME, uh, from its Solar Dynamics Observatory, a spacecraft launched in 2010 that constantly monitors the sun's activity. Monitors the sun's activity. Uh, it was... NASA, NASA says an X-class flare of the highest intensity with the potential to affect radio communications, electrical power grids, uh, navigation signals, and pose risk to spacecraft and astronauts. Thursday's burst of energy caused about two hours of radio interference in some parts of the U.S., and elsewhere during daylight hours. The National Atmospheric and Oceanic Administration Space Weather Prediction Center called it an amazing event, end quote, uh, likely one of the largest solar radio events ever recorded. Uh, the center also said its impact on radio communications was felt between midday and 2 p.m. Eastern Time on Thursday, and that its scientists were analyzing other effects of the CME, uh, quote, located over the far northwest area of the sun, uh, end quote. Uh, it was the strongest solar flare recorded since the 10th of September 2017, the center said, and the most powerful of the current solar cycle by some distance. Most X-class solar flares to impact Earth are graded between 1 and 9, with Thursday's event classed as an X-8 x8 so i'm assuming that that's not good being one less than the highest level uh the european space agency said the most powerful solar flare in recorded history was the x28 event on the 4th of november 2003 guys i'll tell you what and if you want to see photos you can check out nasa's website uh there's a link that you can go to on uh, I do believe, well, they have a, they have a image of it here on the Guardian. Um, 
and the image is described as fiery flash on sun's surface 93 million miles away, X-class flare of highest intensity with potential to affect radio communications. Guys, that's why we always talk about preparation on the channel here. This is, and this investigation is ongoing. This just happened. Uh, and for something 93 million miles away, well, that thing could be floating off who knows where. That's all the information we have. There's nothing else. All we can always talk about is, you know what? These things have the ability to be able to knock power. They have a, the ability to shut down the power grid. They have the ability to obviously disrupt radio communication. It is uh, something that we need to think about. We need to think about this in the future because it'll help us prepare a little more for things that we need to prepare for. You know, if the internet goes out, if the power goes out, we're going to need light. We're going to need to make sure that we have flashlights. We're going to need to make sure we have the means, know how to build a fire, know how to cook outside, all these little different things that we need to learn if you haven't already. Hopefully you already know how to build a fire. Um, but, you know, if this happens and power goes out, well, we're also in winter. It's very cold. We're fortunate here, knock on wood, to have a very nice day outside in Cincinnati, Ohio, 55 degrees. Um, I went out to the mall today, to Florence Mall. Florence, y'all, if you're from around here, you know what I mean. There's a big water tower that says Florence, y'all, on it. They didn't want the water tower saying Florence Mall, and, mall anymore, so they changed it to Florence, y'all. But anyway, went out there, did a little walkthrough, looked at some different holiday options. Uh, a lot of people were wanting me to do that. So that video will come out tomorrow at 8.30 in the morning Eastern time. Make sure you are subscribed down below uh, to get all of our updates. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you are aware when our videos are being put out here. Uh, we try to put out two videos a day, one being at 8.30 in the morning Eastern time every day. So if you're not notified, you know at 8.30 in the morning you can tune in and we will have a video ready for you. Uh, guys, these are crazy times. These are crazy times. I, you know, it's it's like you see so many things. I read somewhere in another article, and I kid you not, I'm not going to get back online here and check it out, but they were talking about railway disruption. Railway disruption. Okay, now I didn't go into it. I was, I was looking through a couple of these different articles, just wanted to talk about the solar flare and the possibilities of what this thing can do. Now, I'm not saying go out there and panic. Don't go out and panic buy. Don't do anything like that. We never encourage panic buying on the channel. However, the slow burn is the way to go, guys. The tortoise wins the race. The turtle wins the race. Um, it's never too late to start making sure that you have these things, these items that are going to protect you in the future. Um, anything, we always have a lot of different viewers on the channel that give great ideas on things to make sure you are prepared on. We need to make sure we're doing these things because events like this happen are completely out of our control. Even the things that are in our control can be a, um, uh, a, a direct hit per se, toward us. So we need to make sure that we know these things can happen. If we know these things can happen, then we can prevent these things, at least from having a more of a stronger impact, right? It's like if, if a catastrophic event happens, well, guys, you know, it was nice to know you. You know, I mean, it, it's nice, you know, and, and these are the things why it's, you know, even though I, I don't like watching the news, I, I've never been a fan of watching the news or anything. It's good to pay attention on some of these things, especially with some of the different conflicts going on around the world so that we know what's going on in case something ever big does happen that we can or us personally can't control. But at the same time, with things like this, solar flare, you know, sun, sun's not liking things and it's, it's spitting off energy at us. That's not a good thing. And when it can, when it can, uh, cause different, um, activity that can cause disruptions in many different ways, we need to make sure we're paying attention. Um, I, you know, I don't really know what too much to think about it. I kind of dove into the internet some, but I'm careful what I say because, you know how it is. Sometimes you dive into the internet and some things can be true. Some things are not. This is 100% true today. This did happen. Um, it's all over NASA's website. Sometimes I read through a few different articles to make sure that we're pulling to where it's worded the best. Sometimes even other places, other, other websites can actually word things better than the actual source from where it came. I was reading uh, NASA's uh, description of this and everything. I was like, well, they're kind of all over the place. 
but got the gist of what they were talking about. Uh, you know, I'm not a scientist. I don't go into all the scientific detail. Just let me know if I need to duck and cover. You know, I mean, that's really what it is. Radio disruption for over two hours is no joke, guys. That is a clear cut, hey, this is an issue. Uh, how do we... I, I, and I don't know certain things. I know that, you know, things with like electric magnetic pulse. I know a little bit about those because I've done some research on them. There's ways that we can protect our power grid and stuff like that. And I hope that our country is working on that. I hope that they're working on uh, building these things to protect us in case something like that happens, whether from man or by Mother Nature or by, you know, the sun. You know, I mean, I don't know if the, the, the information that we've gotten in the past of things that we can do to upgrade our power grids and stuff to where these things don't happen or can't happen or can't affect us. These are the things that we need to start spending the money on, right? Because we have the money to do it. And it, and honestly, in the long run, for the numbers, it sounds pretty cheap. Yeah, you're talking millions, but we're talking about spending trillions of dollars anyway. Why not do something that's going to protect us in the future, right? I mean, it just it makes the most sense. But anyway, guys, that is, uh, it's, that's, it's crazy stuff. It really is. I really don't know what too much to think about except for, we just need to keep preparing as we go. Keep these little things in the back of our mind. Also, I want to say don't fear, you know, don't don't fear these things, but just, just be prepared. Prepare in your mind. Have it in the back somewhere here just kind of floating, you know, so that you know that there is a possibility of something like this happening. That way you're not left in the dark when it does. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great night.